Hello, I'm about to read the story, Math Man. Words by me, Terry Daniels, art by Timothy Bush. Of all the food stores in town, the Mighty Mart was the most plentiful. Mrs. Gord led her class to the Superstore tour. It's a fine way to see math in action, she said. Marnie didn't give a bad sprain about math in action. It was nearly Halloween, and all she could think of was buying a pumpkin, big and bumpy. Marnie jingled the loose change waiting in her pocket. She liked the way it sounded. There's another class going to the supermarket. Hurry along, class, we have a lot to see. One of the little mice says, it's fun. The Mighty Mart was dressed for fall. Spiders clung to the candy shelves. Skeletons hung from the fruit bins and scarecrows slumped over baskets, brimming with dried corn. Mr. Budget, the manager, zoomed past the ghost balloons, bobbing at the entrance. He asked everyone nearby to sing the Mighty Mark Promise, where the superstore was so much more. Garth, the stock boy, sang the loudest. Marnie thought the song was dumb. When do we get to buy pumpkins, she asked. Best for last, said Mr. Budget, setting his sights on Garth. Don't forget to fill the pumpkin bin, he warned. Garth popped out his chest. You can count on me, Mr. B. Seconds later, a voice blared from above. Egg breakage in aisle eight, oil spill on nine. How dreadful, said Mr. Budget, scurrying to check the mess. Wait, cried Mrs. Gord. We were hoping to see math in action. What about the tour? Stick with me, said Garth. My friends don't call me math man for nothing. Garth loaded his price gun and repeated the Mighty Mark promise, where the superstore was so much more. The class liked the way it sounded, especially the word more. Even Marnie perked up. Can I buy more than one pumpkin? Sorry, said Mrs. Gord, one per customer. And a little mice in the corner. Keep your eyes open. Math is everywhere. Fun! Watch this, said Garth. Zap, zap, zap. He tagged bags with a flick of his wrist. Mrs. Gord timed him. That's 120 bags per minute. Two bags per second. Make way for sprouts, he shouted. 10, 20, 30, 40. Mrs. Gord's eyes shine like dimes. Splendid, she said, counting by tens. I'm handy at hurling lettuce, said Garth. Two, four, six, eight. Two heads are better than one. And I'm really super when I stack the spuds. One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four, five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes, more. Passing shoppers sang along. They liked the way it sounded, especially the word more. Marnie hated potatoes. She wanted to buy a pumpkin. She doesn't look too happy. Mrs. Gord raved. This place is a math bonanza. You're 100% right, said Garth, marching towards the melons. We have all sorts of problems at the Mighty Mark. Try the quarter slices, Mr. Pitt, Garth offered. A whole watermelon is hard to fit in the fridge. The children jumped in place, chanting, four quarters equals a whole. Exactly, said Mrs. Gord. I see trouble, said Garth, racing to the snack cakes. There are four dinkies in that box, ma'am, and you've got five kids. How about a family pack of 10? Two snacks each? Aren't you the smart one, said the mom. And here the little mice are doing the math in the corner. Ten dinkies divided by five kids equals two dinkies each. 
fat brain, said Marnie. I'm smart too. She counted her money out loud. I have two quarters, four dimes, and 10 brown pennies. That's a dollar for a pumpkin, big and bumpy. A small one, a one pound pumpkin, costs only 40 cents, said Garth. A quarter, a dime, and five pennies. He sorted the coins on her palm. The rest could be yours to keep. Marnie's eyes widened as she figured out her change. The mice in the corner are doing it too. A dollar minus 40 cents equals 60 cents change. Fun! How much is a bigger pumpkin, asked Mrs. Gord. A two pound pumpkin costs 80 cents, Garth continued. Three pounds cost $1.20, four pounds $1.60, Five pounds, two dollars, six pounds, two forty. Faster and faster, he multiplied in his head. Seven, two, eighty, eight, three, twenty, nine, three, sixty. And a ten pound biggie costs a whopping four dollars. Garth had a way with numbers. And the mice are adding it too. Whew. But they still think math is fun. It wasn't long before Garth's way with numbers got around. One shopper spread the word to two shoppers. And they spread the word to two more shoppers. And they told two shoppers. And they told two shoppers. And they told two shoppers until every shopper had heard about Garth. And the mice are doing the math in the corner. All those shoppers equals 63 total. Tour time, cried Mr. Budget. He blew in like October wind and swept the class to the service desk. My handy dandy microphone can blast an urgent message. Mighty Mark Fever, Coco Loco ice cream is 50% off. Then Mr. Budget rushed to the checkout to show off his scanners. These nifty gadgets read each price tag with a thin laser light. We couldn't add the orders up without them. Ping, 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 ping. That's $7.33, said the cashier. Couldn't add the orders up without them. Mr. Budget sped down the aisles. We have meat, he sang, dancing past the burgers. And dairy, he slowed only to moo at the milk. Canned goods and baked goods and veggies, yahoo! When they reached the pumpkin bin, the tour came to a stop. Can we pick our pumpkins now, Marnie asked. Mr. Budget peered into the bin. He pulled out a single stump. Which warts, cried Marnie. The pumpkin bin is empty. Mr. Budget glared at Garth. Someone has forgotten the Mighty Mark promise. Garth scrambled past the egg beaters. Have no fear, he shouted. I'll fill that bin in a flash. He's dashing through the stockroom. But uh-oh, while Garth searched the stockroom, the mighty Mark got hit with the hardest problem of all. Pow, ping, zing, zunk. The superstore scanners went kaput. Uh-oh, somebody pulled out the plug. Yikes. The puzzled cashiers couldn't add the orders up without them. The Mighty Mark workers fiddled with the machines. No one could fix them. They tried adding in their heads. That only made matters worse. Let me see. 150 plus 350 plus a dollar 30. Your total is $630, said a cashier. For three items, asked the shopper, how can that be? Sadly, no one knew. The cranky customers gathered at the checkout while Mrs. Gord's class waited, hoping to pick out pumpkins. When Coco Loco ice cream leaked from 60 baskets on six long lines, Mr. Budget freaked. Can anyone around here add? Marnie raised a handful of money, a quarter, a dime, and five brown pennies. 
It costs 40 cents to buy a one pound pumpkin, she said. Garth told me. Suddenly, every shopper buzzed about Garth. And Mr. Budget dove for the microphone. His voice blared from above. Meth emergency! When Garth heard the call, he flipped. He gripped. He flew into action. Math man to the rescue, he thundered. Able to add 60 baskets with a single grain. Math man added and added and added. Oh, that's a lot of food. Until every order had been tallied. Our hero, cried the children, crowding around the pumpkins. This is the store with so much more. Math man laughed the loudest. Pumpkins are our specialty. There were tall ones, wide ones, and others big and bumpy. But Marnie bought a pumpkin that was small and smooth. One pound, said Garth, lifting it off the scale. I was hoping it would be, said Marnie. Here's 40 cents. She dropped seven coins on the counter and nine more in her pocket. Marnie jingled the loose leftover change. She liked the way it sounded. I like change too. When all the pumpkins were weighed and paid for, Garth grabbed a price gun and repeated the mighty Mart promise. So did his willing assistant. Ready for action? asked Garth. Marnie giggled. You can count on me. Flap, flap, zap, zap. They bagged and tagged 10 candy apple treats. One per customer, said Marnie. And here's the candy apples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the mice are doing the math. 10 treats for nine kids plus one teacher equals fun. And here's the class. Mrs. Gord's class walking out of the store. Everyone has a pumpkin. Everyone has an apple. But the biggest pumpkin of all was purchased by Mrs. Gord. And there's poor Garth carrying it out saying, this is heavy. I hope you enjoy Math Man. See you next time. Bye now.